We're going to learn about the duties and responsibilities of a cabin crew in an emergency situation. First aid and other medical emergencies which a cabin crew has to take care of. Security threats like bomb warning in flight. Hijacking situations and disruptive passengers as well as discussing on engine fire and how a crew is supposed to behave during the same. So let's understand how and what the responsibility of crew members is. Cabin crew duties during an emergency situation. Well, the duties of a cabin crew are be familiar with the safety equipments on board. There are a lot of safety equipments inside the aircraft placed in the forward section, placed in the aft of the cabin or in the flight deck as well. A cabin crew needs to make herself very, very familiar with these safety equipments and how to use these safety equipments in an emergency situation. Crew needs to receive proper training and regular practice. Every airline makes a cabin crew undergo thorough training for 90 days and apart from the theoretical part, they have to also understand the practical aspects and that is why they also do mock drills. Attend in-flight briefings and addressing such issues. Before every flight, a cabin crew has to undergo a briefing which is on safety related aspects of the aircraft. Be poised, calm and composed while handling such emergencies, which is what a cabin crew is supposed to do. Not getting emotional, using logic over emotions. In an emergency situation, you must not become emotional about it. You have to use your mind, you have to use your logic and not be overbowled by emotions. Be assertive with words and tone with passengers. Emergency is a time when you really need to be aggressive as well as assertive with passengers because passengers can create havoc. They'll run here and there and they will not really want to listen to you at that moment of time. At that time, a cabin crew has to really make sure that she's assertive, not only with her words, but also with her tone. Let's understand certain first aid situations wherein a cabin crew has to understand how to give first aid to the situation. Protocols for such situations are, she needs to assess the situation. Um, a person might be having lack of oxygen or might be having a headache or might have even burnt his hand or could be bleeding. In all these situations, first and foremost, a cabin crew is supposed to assess what the situation is and how really critical is a passenger. Treat the symptoms, whatever the symptoms might be. Utilize the first aid equipment as installed. Now there are three first aid kits in the aircraft, two in the forward and one in the after of the cabin. A cabin crew needs to open the first aid kit and give out the required things. Other crew members to provide backup equipment. Ensure that the flight crew are advised. Whenever there is any situation inside the cabin, a flight deck crew, that is the pilot and co-pilot, are not aware of it. It is the responsibility of the flight attendant to inform the cabin, you know, the captain and the co-pilot that what is the situation inside the cabin. Request medical assistance from passengers. You might want to ask certain passengers to help you out with that situation. Complete any necessary paperwork. There is a lot of paperwork involved wherein the cabin crew needs to fill up forms for first aid wherever the situation has occurred. If it's in the with the passengers or even with the flight deck crew, she needs to fill up certain forms. If required, request medical assistance after landing. Now, depending on how serious or critical the passenger is, a cabin crew can ask for medical assistance after landing from a registered medical practitioner or a doctor. Let's talk about disruptive passengers. There are such kind of passengers who will really create havoc inside the aircraft. They are loud, they are angry, and they are really having less of etiquette and manners. With such kind of disruptive passengers, not only crew, but other passengers can get really, really harrowed. Now, let's see what is the cabin crew responsibility or protocols to be followed with respect to disruptive passengers. Well, they need to advise the passenger that that particular behavior is unacceptable and you need to tell them not to behave in certain manner that they are behaving in. 
advise the passenger of instruction from the captain that they have to obey the commands. Now a passenger might be drunk or might be under the in influence of any toxic uh, situation. So what in that particular moment a crew has to do is tell the passenger that the captain has given these orders and he needs to follow them. Follow operator procedure for further action. Carry out restraint if such equipment is installed. If the passenger is really becoming aggressive and is uh, you know, becoming physical with the cabin crew at that point of time, you may use certain equipment which is there on board the aircraft which can really stop him. You can also take help from other male passengers on board. Assistance or rather usage of assertiveness is very very important and essential. While cabin crew is supposed to be always nice and friendly, but with such kind of disruptive passengers, you need to make sure that you are assertive and not really friendly at that point of time. Let's talk about certain situations which might happen inside the aircraft. There could be a bomb warning or a threat of bomb being placed inside the flight. In such a situation, what exactly is a cabin crew supposed to do? Let's take a look at protocols for bomb threat. Well, she has to adhere to operator specific procedures. Every operator means every airline has their own specific procedure for how you're supposed to treat a bomb threat situation. A bomb threat is definitely not a very nice sight to be in or a good situation to be in. There can be a lot of panic in such a situation. Receive briefing from the flight crew. Take the help of the pilot there. Carry out search. Now, people from the ground or the ground staff might have just called up the cabin crew saying that there is a bomb on the aircraft. Now it is the cabin crew's responsibility to carry out search inside the aircraft at each and every part of the aircraft and find out where exactly the bomb could be. Ensure that the passengers identify all the baggage. The crew's responsibility is to make sure that all the passengers identify their baggage this will make them understand if there is any unidentified baggage on board the aircraft because that is where the bomb could be there. Isolate the suspect article or rather the article and protect. Make sure that the bag or the unidentified baggage is kept in a separate place and nobody touches it and it's absolutely secured. Move passengers and equipments away from that area. Wherever you have secured that particular unidentified bag, make sure you remove all the passengers from that particular area and make sure that equipments or safety equipments like fire extinguisher and everything else is removed from that particular area because you might need it to fight that particular situation. Move articles to risk free bomb location area as possible. So try and make sure that in most of the airlines rather they say that the bomb if it is unidentified in a baggage has to be placed inside the last row or rather after the last row of the passenger towards the right side of the aircraft which is the R4 galley door. That is the least risk free area. Well, hijack can be a very unnerving situation for most of the passengers as well as the flight crew and the cabin crew. Hijack is a situation which can be very, very threatening and if it is not dealt in the right manner, it can lead to loss of passengers' lives. Let's take a look at what the crew's responsibility and protocols to be followed by them in case of a hijack situation. Well, they need to adhere to the operator-specific procedure for hijack again as i mentioned before each and every airline has their own protocols as well as procedures to be followed if there is a possible threat of hijack on board maintain locked flight deck door now the hijacker who's there inside the flight has one and only one mission and that is to get inside the cockpit and try and take control of the entire aircraft it is the cabin crew's duty and responsibility to make sure that the flight deck door is all the time shut and locked and she should not allow the hijacker to come inside the cockpit she needs to communicate with the flight crew with the help of the interphone always and never open the door for the hijacker. 
control the cabin and reassure passengers. Well, friends, it is an obvious situation. If there is a hijacker on board the aircraft, passengers will get very panicky and they will might want to run helter-skelter or they just might lose their cool and start fighting and shouting. At that point of time, it is the crew's responsibility to reassure the passengers, make sure they all are seated down and not losing their minds. Restrict alcohol. If anybody asks for alcohol at that point of time, it is to be completely said no to. You do not serve alcohol when there is a situation like that. Check passengers and carry out cabin is secure. Comply with the demands of hijackers unless the safety of the passengers as well as the aircraft is threatened. Well friends, now we're going to talk about emergency passenger briefing. Now during a normal operation, there is a specific safety demonstration which is announced and that the passengers have to follow. But during an emergency, a separate briefing happens and make sure that the passengers are listening to that particular briefing because that is how they will uh, you know, utilize the knowledge from the briefing and utilize it on themselves. So let's see what they are. Protocols for emergency briefing, instruct the passengers to store all PEDs, that is your personal equipment devices. You need to tell your passengers that you, they need to store their mobile phones, iPad and laptops etc. So whatever they are using, they need to close, shut down and remove everything and away from them. Stay in the assigned demo position, whatever is the demo position for that particular cabin, you need to ensure that they are staying there. Not walk up and down the aisle during the announcement. While the emergency announcement is happening, you need to make sure that passengers are not walking here and there. They are sitting down in their respective positions and looking and rather listening to the instructions very carefully. Not talking during a demonstration. Coordinate the demonstration with the announcement. Crew needs to make sure that if they are doing a demonstration, it has to be coordinated with their particular actions that they are doing. While doing a demonstration is a separate thing, but once the emergency really happens and people are running helter and skelter, you need to ensure that you are able to control the crowd and that is where a cabin crew's uh, diligence and sincerity and dedication is seen. So how do you do crowd control post an emergency situation or during an emergency situation? Well, there are different passengers who react in different ways in an emergency. An emergency is not a great thing to happen, right? And hence, because of that, passengers behave in certain manners or react in certain manners. Like some of them will panic and they will just not be able to do anything in that panic situation. Insisting on leaving by the same door that they entered. Uh, well, passengers might think that the same door that they entered into the aircraft, they want to exit by the same door, which might not be possible. Exiting with carry-on baggage. In an emergency situation, people want to run along with their baggage, which is not possible. So they have to leave their baggage behind. Wanting to take control of the evacuation procedure. There are a lot of passengers who might have leadership qualities and they might want to control the crowd during an emergency. They might be pushing each other, trying to get ahead. And uh, that can be a disastrous situation because you might hurt people while pushing them. Jumping over the seat backs to get ahead, everybody wants their lives to be saved and hence they might jump over the seat backs so that they can reach towards the end immediately. Disregarding others, being rude to people, being impolite and there are certain people who have absolutely no reaction and they just freeze where they, wherever they are. That could be one of the situation. Well friends, let's talk about how do you control crowd during an emergency situation. As we have just seen in the slide before, people react in different ways and hence it is the cabin crew's duty and responsibility to make sure that the crowd is efficiently and imperatively controlled. How the crew does it is she has a loudspeaker which is there inside the cabin which is known as a megaphone. With the help of this megaphone or a loudspeaker, she needs to shout out certain commands and people have to listen and follow to these commands. Let's see what these commands are. Stay at the bottom, form two lines, help people off, keep moving, send them away, hurry, jump and slide. 
these are short instructions with the very purpose that you want people to follow these instructions a crew should avoid saying long sentence of commands short one or two sentences or rather two words is what we are looking at to control the crowd in a better manner well friends that brings us to the end of this particular segment of aviation module and today we've discussed cabin crew duties during an emergency situation we've discussed a lot of things with regards to how a crew is supposed to behave and certain protocols she's supposed to follow thank you for watching us keep watching more videos coming your way till then thank you